Hey guys, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. Thanks for tuning in. We're getting ready to do a little bit more work on Project Bubble. Stay tuned. So guys, what we're going to be doing here today, and this is being recorded on the same day as Saturday's video where we went live and did some uh, repairs on Project Bubble. So today, as a continuation of that video, we're going to be doing a test fit of a particular size of tire uh, that we are going to try and fit onto this vehicle. Now, initially, I wanted to stick with 16 inch tires in, uh, in hopes that I could find them a little bit cheaper than anything else, but I found a set of 17s. I also found a set of 17 inch rims that we had stored away out back that weren't being used. So having said that, we're going to see if the 17 inch tires on those rims will fit Project Bubbles in hopes that we've got some winter tires for this upcoming season. So let's go get one of each because they've both got tires on them. They've got to be switched around and we'll see if they're going to fit. As you can see, we've got a 265-70-17 tire that used to belong to the old shop truck that we had, the white one. And these ones over here are 17 inch rims, but a lower profile. These particular ones are 235-55-17. But what I want to do is take this tire, put it on that rim, and see if it fits on that car. So now that I'm out of breath from pushing those tires across the parking lot, cue time lapse. Just to give you an idea of the sheer size difference between this tire and the ones we're going to try and make fit, these tires are about 28 and a half inches tall and these ones are about, about 30 and a half. So let's see if they're going to fit. So the simple answer is no, they're not going to fit with a 265 or a 31 inch tire. The biggest reason is right here. When I get this thing up on the hub, it won't fit because the tire itself is hitting on the strut. But I will tell you, it's not by very much. We're talking about this thing not fitting on the studs by probably less than a quarter of an inch which really is too bad because the way that thing's hanging there right now is a, probably about where it would hang with the two inch lift on it. I think that they'd be perfect. So one thing that I just realized is that the clearance that we have for between the tire and the strut on the front is only part of the equation. When we come to the back, it looks like there's even less room just because of the way that the strut kind of curves down a little bit at the back. The current tires that are on this thing are 235 70-16s. So I'm thinking that this is about as far as we can go tire size, even with the lift. We might be able to sneak maybe one more size out of it, but I'm not sure, maybe a 245-70. However, this is going to be the problem. Up front here, we're still doing okay as far as the clearancing goes 
I'm not sure if you can see that right there, a little shiny spot on the plastic, but the tires are, the front tires are rubbing on that when you turn. So a couple of things we have to keep in mind, but I'm thinking maybe we know what the overall height is, 28 and a half inches. So as we start our quest for some winter tires for this thing, we know that 235 70 16s will fit no problem. Maybe a 245, we'll have to wait and see. Got to get that overall measurement and uh, see what's going on. But for now, we're going to put the tires back on. We'll go over to the other side. We will trim off the instant rocker panel repair and see how we do with that. So guys, when we did our instant rocker panel repair, we had to put something up to hold the foam in place as it expanded and cured. So we just took some cardboard, taped it up into place, and it's good to go here now. But we've got to cut it away. And once again, I shouldn't have to remind you guys, but just in case, this is my vehicle. This is not a representation of old car auto sales. We do not do repairs like this on any of our vehicles. This is quite realistically against the law. It will not and never will pass inspection. I'm just doing it to keep the weather from outside of the rocker panel or from inside the rocker panel for the winter time. Cover up the hole so that we can slap a coat of paint on this thing when the time comes to paint it and it just kind of somewhat disappears. And it even has a textured finish, just like Rock Guard. And just so that we can kind of blend it in a little bit so it's not so obvious, a little bit of one step primer, and then we've got some 2007 Ranger Red. Should match up pretty good. You can hear that snap, crackle, pop. Sounds like the paint's having a little reaction to the foam. That's real red. Mint. So now that we've got the necessary repairs done to keep this thing safe, well, and the not so necessary repairs, we're gonna start driving this thing on a regular basis, simply because I think I may have sold the 2006 Toyota Sienna. My wife's van, the 620 some odd thousand kilometer van. Yes, I think I may have that sold. By the time you guys watch this video, it's probably already gone. I'll be sure to get some footage of that as she's driving out the driveway. So in the infamous words of Jeffrey Eatley, what's next? We're waiting for the lift kit to arrive. We hope, hope to see that show up sometime this week. When we do, we're going to bring you along for the ride to get that kit installed. In the meantime, we're going to be looking for those elusive winter tires that we can put on this thing that are roughly about 28 and a half, 29 inches in diameter. So until then, guys, remember, always stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We will see you in the next upload.